When you work out by yourself, you are fully accountable for your actions. It's all on you. You have no one waking you up in the morning. You got no one pushing your back. Nobody doing nothing for you. You have a goal, and whether you go in the gym or not, the gym doesn't care. The weights don't care. Your goal doesn't care. You have to be the one that cares for everything. What's happening with y'all? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy Paul. Let's get right into it. Today. Working out is something that will get real tiresome after a while. I say it many times, you need motivation, you need discipline, you need that inner source inside of you, driving you to get what you need to get done. Motivation is a temporary tattoo. Discipline is permanent ink. That chunk is not washing off. Wow, while you got your motivation, which is the wash on temporary tattoo you put under warm rinsing water, right? While your discipline is where you sat in the chair and you got it drilled into your skin. And no matter how you're feeling a certain day, you will get it done. But in saying this, working out, going to the gym, you can go to the gym alone, or you can go to the gym with a partner. Going to the gym with a partner on a consistent basis and going by yourself consistently requires are two different requirements. When you work out by yourself, you are fully accountable for your actions. It's all on you. You have no one waking you up in the morning. You got no one pushing your back. Nobody doing nothing for you. You have a goal and whether you go in the gym or not, the gym doesn't care. The weights don't care. Your goal doesn't care. You have to be the one that cares for everything. Working out by yourself is like trying to do a whole project alone. It's group work and then there's a, a project by yourself. This is why when you work in a group, you can either slack off because your group members are putting in that work and you're chilling, or you gotta do more and, and you know because your group members are not contributing. When you're by yourself, it's all you. Instead of you working so much for other people, you are working for yourself. You are putting in that work every single day, holding yourself accountable. Because like like I said, no one else cares. The thing, the thing that in comparison with working out on a consistent basis with a partner, Say you're fresh into the gym, you're new, you know, you, you got new goals and say you got a boy, you got a friend that, you know, you want to work out with and they're down too. That's twice as hard. Why? Because not everything could fall in alliance. The days that you want to go to the gym, your homeboy might not want to go to the gym. And if that's your only your ride to the gym or your only way or your, your main motivation to get into the gym, you're not going to the gym either. It, it puts too much emphasis on the, the need of another person if you work out on a, on a partner consistently, with a partner consistently, and you don't do anything by yourself. You're constantly on your own working out. I mean, you're constantly with a partner working out, and if that partner is not on the same path, the same, the same you know, energy type time you're on, then you're gonna slack because, you know, you are so, co-align, co-dependent on that partner to work out with you. Whether that partner knows more knowledge about certain exercises, about your diet, about the, the goals you wanna reach, or that partner is your only way to the gym, or that partner is the one motivating you because you don't have that inner discipline. Those are why working out with a partner could be so detrimental and like, and completely eradicate your goals that you, that you always wanted. The good things about working with a partner could be that information, that extra boost, that extra making sure you're on your junk, that extra, that extra, you know, knowing that I can't be slacking because I have someone else holding me accountable too. There are pros and cons to all of it. But the best of both worlds is when you do have a partner and you have that inner discipline that even if this partner starts slacking, boom, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it moving. Either you're on to you're on to the next, meaning you're on to your best. You're on to continuing working out. You're on to your your greatest version, with or without this person. What a lot of people do is they get a workout partner. They start working out with people, and since the, someone starts slacking, they start slacking too. Rather than taking the initiative to not let that partner affect you at all, not letting no one affect you but you, because of how bad you deeply wanted. Those are the pros and cons of working with a partner. But with pros and cons of working alone is that no one's gonna, like I said before, no one's gonna do it for you. No one's gonna pick you, pick you, wake you up, call your phone, say, hey, did you work out today? 
Did you do this? Did you do that? The journey for you is gonna be a lonely journey and you have to, you have to be ready for it. You have to be ready to embrace all the trials and tribulations, the storms, so you can get up and get at it. Whether you're working out with a partner, I mean, you're taking the journey with a partner or not, or you're taking it by yourself, it is still a journey. It is still one foot in front of the other every single day. It's a fight. And if someone stops, you have to keep moving. Why? Because you gotta put yourself first. Because someone starting to slack doesn't mean you slack too. That just means you want it more. And because you want it more, you will get it. Whether they hate on you or not, whether they hate the fact that you're continuing to work out while they're slacking, at least now you know their true intentions and their true colors. It shows you the truth of everything that you that you weren't able to see before this journey. So working out with a partner or not, it's all up on you. You don't you don't be dependent on anyone because just because they know so much knowledge doesn't mean doesn't mean you can't work out without them. That means get the knowledge yourself. Learn as much as you can from them. Watch the videos on YouTube, all these online online resources, and get after it yourself. Take the take the tri the training wheels off your off your tricycle and ride the bike. Fall down and get back up and reach your goals. That's all I got for today. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all soon.